A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 15, verses 1 to 3. Now all the tax collectors and sinners were coming near to listen to Jesus. And the Pharisees and the scribes were grumbling and saying, This fellow welcomes sinners and eats with them. So he, he told them this parable. There was a man who had two sons. The younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the share of the property that will belong to me. So he divided his property between them. A few days later, the younger son gathered all he had and traveled to a distant country, and there he squandered his property in dissolute living. When he had spent everything, a severe famine took place throughout that country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to one of the citizens of, the, of that country, who sent him to his fields to feed the pigs. He would gladly have filled himself with the pods that the pigs were eating. No one one gave him anything. But when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired hands have bread enough and to spare, but here I am dying of hunger. I will get up and go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Treat me like one of your hired hands. So he set, off, he set off and went to his father. But while he was still far off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion. He ran and put his arms around him and kissed him. Then the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his slaves, Quickly, bring out a robe, the best one, and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet, and get the fatted calf and kill it, and let us eat and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found, and they began to celebrate the Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, today's Gospel reading from Luke chapter 15 verses 1, 3, 11 to 32 is a well-known parable of the prodigal son. In this parable, Jesus tells the story of a father who had two sons. The younger son asked his father for his share of the inheritance and went off to a faraway land where he squandered his money on wild living. When a famine hit the land, the younger son found himself in the dearest streets and decided to return to his father's house to ask for forgiveness and mercy. As he approached his father's house, the father saw him from a distance and ran to him, embracing him and kissing him. The father ordered his servants to bring the best robe, ring, and sandals for his son, and to prepare a feast in his honor. The older son, who had stayed with his father all along, became angry and refused to join in the celebration. The parable of the prodigal son teaches us many important lessons about God's love and mercy. First, we learn that God's love is unconditional. The father in the story did not reject his son or demand repayment for the money he had wasted. Instead, he welcomed him back to up back with open arms 
and celebrated his return. Second, we learn that God's forgiveness is limitless. The younger, the younger son had sinned greatly against his father. But when he returned, the father forgave him completely and without reservation. Similarly, when we turn to God with a contrite heart, seeking forgiveness, He is always ready to forgive us and welcome us back into His loving embrace. Third, we learn that envy and bitterness can blind us to God's love and mercy. The older son in the story was so focused on his own perceived sense of justice and fairness that he was unable to appreciate the joy and love that his father had for his younger brother. In the same way, when we are consumed by jealousy or bitterness, we may miss out on the blessings that God has on store for us. In conclusion, the parable of the prodigal son is a reminder that God's love and mercy are infinite and that we are all called to share in the joy of His kingdom. Let us always be open to His forgiveness and strive to live our lives in a way that reflects His love for us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.